And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. This is the first video in this channel. Well, apart from the trailer, of course. This is a channel where we talk about anything related to comic books, like new releases, stories, writers, artists, or movies based on comic books. Today's topic? The Marvel Epic Collections. Okay, with no further ado, let's start. The Marvel Universe consists of tons of different characters, some more popular than others. Many people want to explore the origins of their favorite characters, but buying the individual issues from the 60s isn't an option anymore, as they are very very pricey and very hard to find. Okay, not all heroes were created in the 60s, but the most popular ones like Spider-Man, Hulk, Daredevil or Iron Man were. Well, there have been some attempts to reprint these comics, but they didn't work the way they should. An attempt was made in 1996, with the essential Marvel collection. Each hero had a certain amount of volumes, and each volume included about 20 issues of the magazine the hero starred in. It was kinda good, but come on, everything was in black and white. It did feel vintage, but it was also very dull. The paper that was used was very cheap, sometimes words were missing for the balloons, and generally, it just didn't feel right. However, I think there were some reprints later that actually had color and were a bit better, but I'm not entirely sure. Another honorable mention are the Marvel Masterworks. There have been many, many Marvel Masterworks over the years, but the most well known are the ones that started being released in 2003, and they keep going until today. They are hardcovers and are very, very expensive. Too expensive for the material they cover, which is about 10 issues each volume. They have even less material than the Essentials, yet they are way, way more expensive than the Essentials. They are probably so expensive because of the paper quality and the fact that they are hardcovers. Don't get me wrong though, the Essentials and the Masterworks both have their flaws, but that doesn't mean that they are bad. They are actually very good, they are great, but they could be improved. Thankfully, in 2013, Marvel announced the Marvel Epic Collections, the most successful of all the previous attempts. I'm sure you have seen them or heard them at least once, right? You know, these large books with the Epic Collection logo on the top? Yeah, those are the Epic Collections. Each volume is over 400 pages, some are even more than 500, which means that there are about 20 issues inside, sometimes more. How is this collection different from the previous ones, though? Well, the paper's quality is way better than the Essential Marvel collection, and not a single issue is in black and white, except, of course, it, if it was originally made that way on purpose. In addition, they are double the size of a Marvel Masterworks volume, yet they are way cheaper. Generally, they are the best way for someone to finally get to read all those vintage comics that are really hard to find nowadays. So, now you're thinking, oh man, now I can finally get to read every single comic book my favorite hero has ever appeared in. Slow down, bud. I never said all of them. Yes, you can read every single comic book a character has ever appeared in, but only those until the early zeros. So, if we are talking about the Hulk, for example, the collections would cover about 40 years of material. 40 years! None of the previous collections have made it this far. But the collections stop at one point, since you can easily find the rest of the stories nowadays. But, a modern epic collection is in the works, so we'll talk about it later. So, long story short, the epic collections are great paperbacks that cover all the appearances of a certain character from the year they were created until the early zeros. Now, I'm sure that what I'm gonna say has confused you, maybe a lot, maybe a little, maybe you don't care, but it is strange, so if you want to know why this happens, uh, just listen. So, you just started to collect some epic collection books, huh? Oh no, where is the third volume of the Venom epic collection? And why is the fifth already released? Well, about that. The epic collections are never released in order. For example, the order in which the Venom epic collection volumes are released is this. 1, 2, 5, and 4. Actually, 4 isn't out yet, but this is going to be the next, not 3. But why does it happen? Well, it's because the material in a certain volume is already available in another collective edition, so they leave it for later. Uh, for example, I mentioned Venom, right? Well, 
The first two volumes were released in order because there aren't any other collective editions that have the exact same stories featured in those first two volumes. However, they skipped the third one and went straight to five. This is because the third volume would probably include the Maximum Carnage event, which is already available in many, many other collective editions, so they thought it was a good idea to just release something new and leave that for later. And don't worry, they will all be available at some point, so you just have to be patient. Well, that's basically it for the Marvel Epic Collections. However, I mentioned something about modern epics earlier. Well, yes, we are also getting a Marvel Modern Era Epic Collection. They will probably work the same way as the other Epic Collections, but they will include more recent stories. For now, we know that the characters that will get the Modern Era Epic Collection are The Guardians of the Galaxy, Loki, New Avengers, Spider-Gwen aka Ghost Spider, and Spider-Man Deadpool. And no, I don't mean Spider-Man and Deadpool uh, individually, I mean that the Epic Collection will include uh, the issues of the series they had together. The first modern Epic Collection that uh, is going to be released is Spider-Gwen Edge of Spider-Verse, which is scheduled for release in May. As we can see from the front and the back cover and the spine, the modern Epic Collections will have a similar design as the previous ones. There are only some minor differences, uh, for example, there are the words Modern Era, of course, uh, the volume's name is not on the bottom anymore, and the Epic Collection logo is no way smaller, uh, the fonts are a bit different, and to be honest, I really like the new design. It is similar to the original, but it has a more fresh look, and yeah, it looks great, and I can't wait to get it. Well guys, this was today's video, and just to be clear, no one pays me to advertise the Epic Collections. The reason I made the video wasn't to advertise them, it was to help people that wanted to read some comics that's really hard to find nowadays. So I hope that my video inspires you, and that you may consider to read some of Marvel's Epic Collections. They are absolutely amazing, and I highly recommend them. I have a few of them, and I am planning to do a review on one of them in the future. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed my first video, and if you did, be sure that there are a lot more to come. So, until the next time, goodbye true believers!